This is a quick tutorial for using paper and masking tape to make a sculpture of a shoe. You want to begin by observing some shoes carefully, looking at the details, looking at all of the pieces of the shoe and how they come together. Once you've done that, quickly sketch the side, the top and the bottom of your shoe. I want to stress that this is a problem to solve. There'll be lots of twists and turns and maybe even starting over in the process of making this sculpture. To begin, you want to carefully remove a few pieces of paper from your sketchbook. Make sure you hold on to the binding so you don't ruin it as you pull out your paper. I found the easiest way to begin was to sketch out what the bottom of the shoe will look like. Once I've sketched out the bottom, I'm going to go around it about half of an inch away to give a piece to make tabs. Tabs are a great way to attach pieces of paper when you're working in paper sculpture. When you cut, be sure that you're cutting around the outside shape and not the inside shape. Once I've cut it out, I'm cutting straight and diagonal lines all the way around that will make this tab piece of paper flexible. This is gonna give me something to work with and allow me to attach the bottom of the shoe to other pieces as I work. Next, I'm gonna to continue to draw out the top of the shoe and the size of the shoe. Each time I'm adding that extra half inch around what I'm drawing where I need to make tabs. As I'm working with just the paper, there's a lot of bending and experimenting, and as I said before, even starting over to build pieces until I'm happy with what I have and the way they're going to fit together. Once I have pieces that I think are going to work, I'm gonna just lightly tape them together with one small piece of tape. I'm sort of dry fitting my sculpture together to make sure that it's going to work. At this point, I need to make any adjustments before I cover my paper with tape. Once I'm happy with how my sculpture will come together, I'm gonna to take my pieces apart and flatten them back out and start to cover them with layers of tape. On the front and back of each piece of paper, I'm gonna overlap strips of tape. The tape on top of the paper is gonna give the paper flexibility to allow me to bend it and move it more. I'm covering one side carefully against a table that I know the tape will peel off of easily. And then I'll flip it over and I'll cover the other side and trim around the edges. Once I've trimmed all the tape around the edges, I'm going back in and I'm recutting those tabs. Um, those lines that will help me bend the paper one small piece at a time to create my three-dimensional sculpture. Here, I'm gonna punch some holes for where I know I want my shoelaces to fit in after. I'm doing this step while my pieces are flat because it makes it easier to put the holes where I want them. You could always do it after your sculpture is built. Next, to put my pieces together, I've already pre-cut several small strips of paper. And all I'm gonna do is move the tabs up 
along the side from the bottom and tape them together. Any place I want to tape my two pieces of a sculpture together, I'm just going to use small pieces of the tape, keeping it as smooth as I possibly can. In the end, if I want to, I can go over that tape with more tape to smooth it out even more. continue to work around the sides and the top, adding them to the bottom with one little piece of tape at a time, smoothing everything out as I go. For the last part of the top of my shoe, I've added the tongue of the shoe, and again, I'm just taking it in and experimenting with where I want it. This takes a little bit of uh, patience and perseverance in order to build your shoe. For the laces, all I did was roll out a really long strip of tape and tape it together. So folding it in thirds makes it hold together. And then I'm just folding it in half again. And this will become the laces of my shoe. I can lace it up and tie it just like I would a regular shoe. There's my first try at making a shoe out of tape. You might notice the example shoe at the beginning and end of this video is a different one because I wasn't happy with my first try, so I just tried it again. That's how art works. Keep trying and it keeps getting better. You could add color to your shoe, pattern designs and color by using Sharpies. You wouldn't want to add to your shoe with a water-based marker because the tape would repel the water-based marker. But Sharpies or acrylic paint would be a great way to decorate your finished shoe.